Xin chào các bạn. Welcome back to Future Lang's Grammar Lessons with me, Teacher Ollie. Are you ready for today's lesson? All right, let's go. In today's lesson, we will learn about the subjunctive in that clauses after certain verbs and expressions. Are you excited? Are you ready? Let's begin. First, let's take some notes about the subjunctive. A subjunctive is the form or mood of a verb. A subjunctive is used in a that clause. A subjunctive uses the base form of a verb. Be, find, come. And we use the structure as follows. In this lesson, we will look at four different uses of subjunctive. Number one, it is used to report advice, orders, requests, or suggestions about things that need to be done. It is used in formal contexts, especially in written English. For example, I suggest that he moves to the city for a better healthcare. My teacher recommended that I come home to my hometown after finishing university. Two, subjunctive is used after reporting verbs, such as For example, his parents insisted that he settle down and he finds a job in the big city. My mother recommended that I follow in my grandpa's footsteps and become a teacher. Three, we can also use this structure. And here are the adjectives. And some of the expressions. For example, it is important that the government encourage investment in rural areas. It is desirable that people in rural areas have access to modern technology. Number four, the subjunctive can be used in negative, continuous and passive form. For example, the government urged that people not waste natural resources. It is crucial that patients not be waiting for urgent operation. Okay, now let's practice with some more sentences before we finish our class. Her parents insisted that she study hard for her final exams. It is essential that young people from rural areas be told the truth about city life. It is a good idea that the police be searching for the missing people. Excellent job, everybody. That's it for our grammar lesson today. I hope you had fun. Remember, keep reviewing, keep practicing, doing your exercises, and improve your grammar skills every day. See you in the next lesson.